In the early hours of April 26, 1986, a catastrophic event unfolded in the heart of the Soviet Union. A beacon of scientific innovation, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was a symbol of the nuclear energy revolution that was sweeping across the globe. It was a place where the power of the atom was harnessed to light up cities, a testament to mankind's ingenuity. Yet the very same power held the potential for unimaginable destruction. But Chernobyl was destined for a different kind of fame. On that fateful night, a routine safety test spiraled into a nuclear nightmare. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the pride of the Soviet Union's atomic energy program, was about to etch its name in the annals of history, but for all the wrong reasons. It was a test designed to simulate a power outage, a check on the system's resilience. The fourth reactor was to be pushed to its limits, a scenario thought to be under control. But control was illusory that night, as a series of unfortunate decisions and technical missteps set the stage for disaster. The reactor, running at low power, was dangerously unstable. Despite warning signs, the test proceeded, the operators pressing forward in the face of mounting risk. The reactor's design flaws, previously obscured, were now coming into sharp focus. A fatal combination of human error and design inadequacies was aligning, and the clock was ticking. In a desperate attempt to regain control, the operators initiated an emergency shutdown, little did they know their actions would trigger the opposite effect. A sudden and unexpected power surge ensued, causing the reactor's fuel rods to fracture and the coolant to vaporize. An explosion was now inevitable. And then, at 1.23 in the morning it happened. The reactor's core exploded, tearing apart the building spewing radioactive debris into the night sky. The unthinkable had occurred. A routine safety test had mutated into a full-blown nuclear disaster. The night was lit with an eerie glow, a ghostly illumination that would become synonymous with the name Chernobyl. Unseen but deadly, radioactive particles began to spread, carried by the wind, a silent killer seeping into the environment, the beginning of a nuclear fallout that would reach far beyond the borders of the Soviet Union. In the blink of an eye, the world was on the precipice of a nuclear catastrophe. The events of that night would cast a long shadow, a chilling reminder of the power and peril of nuclear energy, forever etched into the fabric of our collective memory. The immediate aftermath was a whirlwind of chaos and confusion. As the dust settled on the disaster those in the vicinity of the Chernobyl plant found themselves in the throes of a crisis beyond comprehension. The workers, many of whom had no inkling of the severity of the situation, were plunged into an abyss of uncertainty. With the situation spiraling out of control, the plant's personnel struggled to contain the catastrophe, their efforts often hindered by a lack of understanding of the perilous reality they faced. Amidst the turmoil, emergency services were scrambled, their response swift yet fraught with danger. Firefighters, the first on the scene, battled the fires with little to no protection against the lethal radiation. Their bravery was unparalleled, their sacrifice immense. Unbeknownst to them, they were fighting an enemy far more insidious than the flames they sought to extinguish. But amidst the chaos, there were stories of heroism and resilience. Take for instance the tale of a young engineer named Anatoly. Despite the pandemonium he remained at his post, working tirelessly to prevent a further escalation of the crisis. Meanwhile, a nurse named Maria stationed at a nearby hospital worked round the clock, tending to the injured and the irradiated, her own safety taking a back seat to the welfare of her patients. Yet as the sun rose on that fateful day, the magnitude of the disaster became increasingly apparent. The world outside Chernobyl remained largely oblivious to the nuclear nightmare unfolding within its confines. Those within its grip, however, faced a grim reality. Their lives had been irrevocably altered, their futures shrouded in uncertainty. The battle against the unseen enemy was just beginning. The effects of the radiation, though invisible, were far-reaching. The clock was ticking, and every second counted. The race was on to contain the fallout and safeguard the lives of those in the path of the deadly radioactive cloud. An invisible enemy had been unleashed, and the clock was ticking. The echoes of Chernobyl reverberate far beyond that night. The nuclear fallout left a stain on the landscape, an invisible scar that still impacts the environment and health of those living in its shadow more than four decades later. In the wake of the disaster the immediate area around the power plant became a radioactive wasteland, this exclusion zone, spanning a radius of 30 kilometers, was deemed uninhabitable for humans. The land within this zone became a chilling testament to the destructive power of nuclear energy when harnessed incorrectly. The environmental impact was staggering. 
forests turned a ghostly shade of rust, earning them the moniker Red Forest. Wildlife populations initially plummeted, with many species suffering from radiation-induced genetic mutations. Yet, over time, nature showed a remarkable resilience. Today, the exclusion zone is teeming with life. Wolves, deer, and even endangered Przewalski's horses roam freely. It's a paradoxical sanctuary born out of a nuclear wasteland. The human toll, however, was and continues to be devastating. Thousands of people were exposed to high levels of radiation leading to an increase in thyroid cancer, leukemia, and other health conditions. The exact number of lives lost due to the disaster is hard to pin down, with estimates ranging from a few thousand to possibly hundreds of thousands. Yet, it's not just the physical health that was affected. The psychological trauma experienced by the evacuees, the liquidators who cleaned up the site, and their descendants, is immeasurable. The fear of invisible radiation, the stigma attached to being a Chernobyl survivor, and the lingering uncertainty about the long-term effects continue to cast a shadow. Despite the grim aftermath, the story of Chernobyl is also one of human resilience. Scientists, doctors, and volunteers have worked tirelessly to mitigate the effects of the disaster, and their efforts have yielded valuable lessons for nuclear safety. But amidst the devastation, life finds a way. Today, Chernobyl tells a different story. Once a symbol of man-made catastrophe, the exclusion zone has now been transformed into a place of somber reflection and remarkable resilience. Here, a haunting yet captivating silence replaces the bustling life that once thrived. This area, once considered uninhabitable, is now a sanctuary for wildlife. The land, once scarred by radioactive fallout, has seen nature reclaiming its space. Forests have grown where buildings once stood, and animals wander freely where humans once walked. It's a poignant reminder that even in the face of devastation, life finds a way. Tourists from around the world now visit Chernobyl. Drawn by its history and the eerie beauty that has emerged from the ruins, they walk the empty streets, exploring the abandoned buildings, taking in the stark reminders of the lives that were abruptly uprooted. But the story doesn't end there. Scientists and researchers too have taken interest in this unique environment, they study the effects of radiation on the ecosystem, the resilience of wildlife, and the safety measures put in place. This research not only provides valuable insights into the long-term effects of nuclear disasters, but also aids in the development of strategies for future nuclear safety. And so, the site of the world's worst nuclear disaster has been reclaimed. Not just by nature, but by curiosity, science and memory. It stands today as a testament to the resilience of nature and a reminder of our past. Chernobyl serves as a stark reminder of the power we wield, and the responsibility that comes with it. This nuclear catastrophe didn't just scar the land, it also etched deep lessons into the fabric of our collective consciousness. Lessons of humility, of the dangers of overreaching in the name of progress, and of the absolute necessity of safety and transparency in such high-stakes endeavors. As we look back at the deserted town, the abandoned Ferris wheel, and the new containment sarcophagus encapsulating the ruins of Reactor 4, we see not just a memorial to a tragedy, but also a testament to our resilience and our capacity for learning and growth. Chernobyl's story is no longer just one of disaster but also of recovery and renewal. It's a story that teaches us the importance of acknowledging our past mistakes, understanding their consequences, and learning from them to navigate a safer future. In remembering Chernobyl we reflect on our past and learn for our future. 